It's the final day of Q Camp at Qualcomm's Think of It Lab in Sorrento Valley, and 30 girls are putting the finishing touches on dancing marionettes. This one's not working right. Yeah. The marionettes are linked to smartphones via Bluetooth. The girls coded apps that control the marionettes using buttons or the phone's motion sensor. We are looking at statements that are if statements, but they're basically telling uh, the what the Arduino to do. At some points, it's saying if the left if the left arm moves at least 23 degrees, it's telling the uh, the right arm to move that way too. Over the past three summers, these girls have been attending the engineering camp as part of an experiment to see what keeps girls in the engineering pipeline. Instructor Sara Nadiri says the key is showing that engineering is just another medium for creativity. It's not some daunting, scary, I'm going to be in a box like coding or something. It, it's anything that you want it to be, whether you want to build smartphones or you want to build um, spaceships, but you can also do interactive art or fashion or toys or, you know, build roller coasters. 12-year-old Neha Roshan and her partner built a celebrity walking the red carpet. We put a lot into the dress and stuff, and I didn't know like that this project would have a lot of like creativity and stuff until I started it, and then it, it was like, like ideas were everywhere. Neha says she had always wanted to be a fashion designer, but QCamp has expanded her definition of designer. Now I'm thinking of maybe being like an engineer where you get to make fun projects like this and also maybe like a designer so that like like um, you think of the plan and then other people execute it and like and then you get to see the final project and it's super fun. The camp has had 100% retention since beginning in 2014 and organizers hope that means the girls will stay on the engineering path. But challenges remain, among them the gender pay gap. Qualcomm itself recently settled for $19.5 million in a gender discrimination lawsuit. Nadiri's advice to girls, keep persisting until women in engineering is the norm. Like, we're going to keep on having this problem. Watch us, like, yes. Yes. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Megan Burks, KPBS News.